I cannot believe I'm stood here saying this, but Gymshark is worth $1.4 billion. I know this for a fact. You can put weights in people's hands and within three or four times of doing it, you can tell if a kid really wants to lift. Round my hometown, memories of Frey and You want that? You want to know what it takes to get that? What are you? An idiot, an idiot sandwich. What are you? There can only be one bald guy. Hang on a minute, you think you can actually do this? <laughs> you tell me. All these things are now a huge area of interest for me. And just like lifting, as soon as you find out how to execute a particular cut or get your image to look a certain way, you want to find the next building block to improve on. One rep. Get it. Oh, get it, get it, get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Who thought this through? There's a very strong chance we're going to fall backwards. Arnold! Arnold! On the windows! <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Hit the big green one. You <laughs> shit. Hold on! My muscles are... are just... Ah! Oh! It's confused. Mind blown. You're mind blown right now. Ah! <laughs> Today's challenge. Three-legged workout. did 10 lateral raises on each of the weights, and there's three weights, so 30 reps in total. And after this, your shoulders are gonna be absolutely burning. To shine in a place like this, you really have to be something special. Making something of yourself in a city full of people trying to do the same thing takes a huge amount of commitment. But sometimes, just one inspirational person at one tiny moment can change your life. does not come cheap. It's crazy to think how I went from a shy kid who wouldn't talk to girls to somebody who would fly across the world to make a girl mine. 
I think that's the confidence the gym gave me. I'm like, mom, I'm trying to be number one in the world. She said, why is that so important to you? Why do you gotta be number one? I said, mom, somebody has to be number one. And what? Gymshark definitely broke the mold. They went into a market that's saturated with so much competition and they were able to carve out their own reputation of so many like-minded individuals that share the same passions and beliefs. And they developed a family that I could gladly say that I'm now a part of. And today we're talking about Gymshark. Has Gymshark gone soft? Uh, this was a post that was posted on Gymshark. Now, Gymshark has recently made a post on their Instagram page and then deleted it. It has since been removed, but Gymshark on their Instagram page made a post addressing everything. Photo on the right, same girl, same clothes. This time, the pants are rolled down, displaying her actual body fat on her belly. Which was, imagine a brand supporting body positivity plus Black Lives Matter bothering you, dot, dot, dot. We'll stay bothered because we're not going to stop. Top comment says, this ain't it. <laughs> Why are you reaching out to people to be in a campaign for Gymshack, which is a fitness brand, if they don't take their fitness seriously, because that's still not relatable. Never this buying from your company sport. again. Let's just agree to disagree, or better yet, let's agree you're a moron. You it's can like wear a pants and not even show your true body fat, or wear them and disguise your body You know what this is? It's a freaking clever ad to say, look how good our pants can make you look. Uh, from Shay, what about blue lines? And then Jim Shack responds, yes, cannot wait for Avatar 2. 